the author of Mastering Probability, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters out there. Welcome, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge. Thanks so much for joining me. It is terrific Thursday. We're talking Masters Thursday, opening day for many teams out there. In fact, uh, baseball spring is absolutely in the air, folks. And, uh, you know, yesterday, last night was the home opener for the Florida Marlins. They showcased their incredible uh, stadium down there. I believe they did end in a loss, unfortunately. It was the Cardinals they were playing. St. Louis Cardinals beat them 4-1. to one. But a, a great, uh, a great stadium. Uh, today it's opening day. I think Tom and I are going to have to have a maybe a bet of a beer because you've got Boston, Boston playing my Detroit Tigers. Of course, I don't know so much that they're my Detroit Tigers, but certainly that's my home team. And uh, a couple other games you've got going around the uh, country today. You've got Toronto is at Cleveland, Atlanta playing the Mets, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Washington at the uh, Chicago, Miami's in Cincinnati today, and the Dodgers at San Diego. So spring is absolutely in the air. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, you can always follow us at Tiger TV. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com. You'll see the Tiger TV button. Why? Because you're going to be able to see my screens. I'm actually going to show you some patterns out there. We're going to take a look at A, B equals C, D patterns. We'll take a look at retracements and expansions of swing points. Uh, we'll take a look at everything. We can always take your call here. We'd look for you to call 877-927-6648. And, uh, you know, tomorrow the markets will be closed, so we won't be here uh, tomorrow to share our time with you. We're going to recharge with a nice long weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We don't get that too often in this business, so looking forward to that as well. We'll be back with you bright and early on Friday morning. So quick take a uh, look quick look at the uh, markets here right now. You've got the uh, futures uh, trading off. You've got the Dow down about 46 points or so. Uh, ES Mini off about five and a half. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, NASDAQ off a couple points. The Russell 2000 down two and a half. You've got the uh, dollar index, King Dollar, still in the building, trading up 36 ticks. We'll see that that has uh, its trading into its 0.618 retracement of its last move down. You've got silver trading up 33 cents this morning. That's up uh, at, trading out at 31.38. Uh, gold trading up 11 bucks at 16.25. You've got light sweet crude trading up 28 cents at 101.75. Uh, DAX, uh, if we take a quick tour around the uh, world, see what's going on. You've got the DAX trading down 64 points right now. That's at 67.20. Uh, FTSE off another 22 points uh, right now today. Uh, the Nikkei off 52 bucks. The uh, Shanghai was up 41 bucks, and the Hang Seng off 197 last night to close out the session. Again, our call number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the markets, see what it is that we've got going on out here. If you're following right now with us on Tiger TV, you're taking a look at my screen. This is the 30-minute uh, ES Mini, that is the S&P Futures contract. And, you know, just really take a look at the ES Mini here just to give you an idea of patterns that are out there, breathing patterns that are out there, candle patterns that are out there. That way, depending on which side of the market it is, you'll have an idea of what's going on. And what you're going to see on the screen here, you're going to see a uh, black line. You'll see a couple red lines. Forget those red lines, those horizontal red lines. Just take a look at the black line that is out there. We drew this yesterday. Uh, this is your A to B equals C to D. Now, your A point here on the ES Mini happened at about 2.30 in the afternoon on April the 2nd. What's today? Today is April the 5th. So three three days ago, that would have, must have been Monday then. So that was Monday. And when it made that uh, candle, when it made that high out there, folks, what you will notice is it did it with a bearish engulfing candle. Important to understand that because at the same time that it was doing that, it was making a Gartley cell pattern right up there. So you're completing another A to B equals CD pattern, a Gartley Buyer, Gartley sell is an A to B equals C to D pattern that is part of a either prior move up or prior move down. In this case here, I made that A, B equals C, D, and you always really want to be paying attention to the D points that are out there. You want to learn how to buy and sell D points. Well, you'll also want to wait for some candle signals to let you know that the move is over. In this case here, with a move making a move to the top side, what you're looking at is you're looking for some type of candle pattern. One of the better ones out there is a bearish candle 
uh, bearish engulfing candle. That is what occurred here at 2.30. So that became our A point, the high of that session, which was at the 14.17.75. What happens? The ES mini travels down and it travels down. And you can see where, you know, now there are swing points within the move down. But the one that's most prominent is really the one that, vis that you visually want to be able to take a look at. You don't want to overcomplicate anything or overthink it. In this case here, the prominent uh, change in the trend was uh, when it made its move down into the 3 o'clock time frame on April the 3rd, the following day. It got down to a low of 13.9955. So that became our B point. Now, the C point is where it next moved up before it started to move down. You never know what that uh, C point is going to be. Oftentimes, it's going to be a 0.618 retracement. But what you always want to do is you want to be able to take out your measuring stick. In this case here, nothing more than a retracement tool. And you know when we take a look at our retracement tools, we're looking at three different factors out there. We're taking a look at 0 0.382, 0 0.618, and 0.786. When you only do a 0.382 retracement, this case here was just slightly above a 0.382, maybe it was a 0.50 retracement. But when you do something less than 0.618, what it is suggesting to you is you're more likely going to do more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals C D pattern. In this case here, as you can see, it did, you know, maybe about a 0.50, just above that 0.382 area, and then it continues its trend down. It's really important to understand that C to D leg, folks. What you want to do is you want to become experts when you're taking a look at your A to B equals C to D. Yeah, you want to be able to pick out your A points, your B, and then your C points. But what you want to do is you want to become an absolute master, an absolute expert at that C to D leg, because that is where it's going to release a ton of information to you. And then you want to become an expert as it is making that D, that D point. Just like we did here on the A, on the A, on our A point, that really was previously a D point of this prior move. In this case here, when we're taking a look at this leg down, the C to D leg, look at how price just simply was traveling along that axis. What that was telling you is that, you know, the move on the C to D was the same as the, the strength of it, in my opinion, was the same strength that you had on your A to B move. Now, what happens? The price projection on that is 1390.75. Where did the actual uh, ES Mini get down to at 11 o'clock? It got down to 1389. 1389 basically versus 1391. Not too bad. Now, what you didn't have happen, you did not have any type of bullish candle confirmation as it made that low. So what does it do? What's the ES Mini do? Just simply bounces up a little bit, travels sideways until it gets down to the low at 2 o'clock yesterday, 1400 hours. Uh, that makes a low there, again, 1388.50, just a slightly lower low. But what does it do as it is completing this one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern? Well, what it's doing, let me get rid of the uh, retracement out here just so it cleans that up, makes it a little bit easier for you to read and see. And what does it do as it's getting down to the bottom? Well, just like at the top when it made a bearish engulfing candle, here as it's completing at least the one-to-one -one move, it makes a bullish engulfing pattern. At that stage, if you were short, that when you were short, and you were trading the ES Mini on a 30-minute time frame, only on a 30-minute time frame. I'm showing you a 30-minute time frame. Doing that because of the morning show here, we can show you activity. You can get an idea of what's going on in the market. And so whatever the chart pattern it is that you're trading on, if you trade a daily pattern, our daily chart, you want to be paying attention to the daily patterns that are out there. Same A to B equals C to D. Same thing by being able to take a look at a bullish or bearish candle. Now, if you're trading a daily chart, what does that mean? That means that you have to wait to the following day in order to be able to get your confirmation, whether it's a bullish or bearish candle pattern, at either the top or the bottom. On a 30-minute chart, you don't need to do that because you're trading intraday. So the whole idea of taking a look at this 30-day chart isn't to suggest that you day trade. But it is a way, and there are folks that are absolutely out there. We know we've got folks in the den that are doing it. But what it is, it's a way for me to be able to teach you what to look for, especially as you get to the D point, especially as you're in a trade and you're wondering, hmm, should I take something off the table? Well, I think you take something off the table when you start to see the patterns complete. In this case here, when you made your one-to-one, -one, you didn't get any type of indication, in my opinion, no indication until you got to that 2 o'clock time frame, and you had to wait for that session to close at 2 o'clock, and you got your bullish engulfing. And then, of course, what does the market do for the rest of the trading session? Just trades above that area, right inside of there, but certainly the low of that bullish engulfing, which was at 1388.50, absolutely held. And it held, folks, until when? 
It held until this morning at 6 a.m. But was there a signal, if you're taking a look at these charts out here, and I just gave you bullish and bearish engulfing candles to take a look at. So as it makes its low, as it makes this bullish engulfing candle here, and then starts to drift a little bit higher, you know, gets up to, and I'm giving you a little bit of a hint here, right? Moves up into the time frame of 3 o'clock this morning. Was there any hint that maybe the move on the way up was over? Let me blow it up. Let me blow it up and maybe ask a little bit louder. Is there any hint out there as the market was moving up that the move was over? Well, you got one move right here, actually. You've got a bearish engulfing candle. That sets up resistance or right here at the top of that area at 1396.50. You get another bearish engulfing candle right here at 3 a.m. Totally engulfs this candle as you have a move up. Look, this says, this bearish engulfing says, nope. I'm not going to allow any more movement to the upside. What happens on the ES mini moves down into the, this is the early trade. This is, you know, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock uh, in the evening. Here it gives you a signal that, nope, I'm not going to let price move up any longer. And what is happening inside the ES mini on a 30 minute? It's making that 1 to 1 1.272, that which you would have expected because you did less than a 0.618 retracement off of this A to B area. That 1 to 1.272, folks, that gave you a price projection in the 1385 75 area now when you get down there you're looking for a bullish confirmation right and what's out there well better than my detroit tigers you got my hammer candle that hammer candle coming in at 6 30 this morning that says that if you are short you need to be able to see a break of that 1384 area that is on the es mini on a 30 minute chart folks 877-927 6648 Dow Futures off about 45, ES off 5. We'll be right back. X Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than $250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has $50 million in its treasury, having spent over $60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and The Money Game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You are born to be a money master and I'll teach you how. 
Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. You know, apropos that it is our opening today on the show was Masters. You know, that was the Masters event with the Tiger taking on my friend Chris DeMarco. And so just, uh, you know, going to be a great weekend of uh, golf out there. Uh, just simply some beautiful grounds and just going to be a challenging uh, golf course for sure. So, uh, you know, that, that'll be fun come Masters Sunday watching the uh, final of the, uh, of the golf tournament out there. Now, let's just go back real quickly here to uh, take a look at the ES Mini because, you know, what you've also done out here just to, you know, so you made a hammer candle, as we said, coming into uh, 630 uh, this morning. What you also were doing here is you just take a look at this chart and you're taking a look at the number of different patterns that were out there. Uh, you're taking a look at making a 100% move of a move, which was just coming down to the lows that are in here in the uh, March 29th lows at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon or so. So you're making a, uh, a move of a move. You've got this powerful hammer candle. Hammer candle, folks, what it is, it's, uh, it's where you had price pushing down and the bulls finally stepped in and said, nope, no more, not going to let this price go down any further, and they push it all the way up. And a hammer candle, in this case here, this is what I call a type 1 hammer candle. Uh, this is where you have price push all the way back up. You've got a small uh, body that is at the top, and you close at the session high. Well, the session high on the ES Mini 30 was at 1386.50. You close at 1386.50. And so very strong support is down at 1384. What happens if you break that? What happens if you break that move of a move? What you will do is you will do an expansion. You will set up a butterfly pattern. Now, when we take a look at yesterday at about 2 o'clock, what happened out here, it made the, uh, it made the Gartley buy pattern when you were also making that bullish engulfing candle. You were going to just simply start uh, from the uh, lows down at that uh, March 29th area, lows being down in the uh, 1386.25 area, up to the high that was put in here at 230, as we identified, and then all the way down here where it made that low, that was making a full A to B equals C to D. If I use my formation tool and we take a look at the A to B equals C to D out there, you know, there it is, right there. So you, it was making a Gartley buy pattern. It did. It gave you a signal, and then as it was making a retracement up here, also gave you a candle to B saying, hey, this move may be over. Now, what I want to show you here is if this hammer candle fails, where is it going to go to? Where is the ES Mini going to go to? Where is its next, uh, where is its next uh, stub on its ticket? Or what, well, I guess if you were ride the train. Well, if you ride the train, in this case here, a gravy train, it'll do a 1.272 expansion, folks. That'll take you down to the 1377 level. So right now you've got strong resistance at 1384. 1384 fails, meaning you get a close below that. It's okay if it gets tested. You get a close below it. The next price point is 1377. Let's go to uh, Jeff in Springfield, Missouri. Jeff, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing today? 
Greg, how are you? I'm doing excellent. So do you, do you, do you like uh, Masters, Masters uh, weekend? Are you a golfer? Uh, not really. I tried it for a while and uh, just wasn't good enough. So, but yeah, I love to watch it. Yeah. So I, I just, I, you know, if you when you do watch it, what, what would you say are your top two or three favorite tournaments to watch? Or do you wait until you know there's certain players in contention or something like that? Uh, you know, I really don't have any favorite. I just, uh, you know, if I catch it on TV, uh, you know, I like watching it for a while and. You know, I'm just amazed at how good the players are, but I don't really follow anybody. Yeah. Now, now, would you like to play Augusta one day? Oh, you know, I, I, I would cause too much damage to the course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's too funny. That's too funny. You wanted to take a look at the uh, Euro, so tell me what you're tell me what you're doing out there, and see how I can help you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm kind of new to Tiger TV, and uh, you know, not really familiar with the uh, Gartley patterns that you guys are talking about. But you know been hearing you talk about them recently so yes i just wondered uh if you you know would uh do some type of similar analysis on the euro contract that's the thing that i try to trade so okay just, uh, and and are you are you are you in a trade right now on it are you short are you long tell me tell me right now how i can specifically help you yeah i'm, I'm short right now okay um so uh i got short at uh, 3127 yesterday and uh, so far, everything's fine. Okay, great. So you know what the and what I've got up here first. I've got just simply the uh, currency pair, the Euro US dollar currency pair, and what it what it did. The pattern. Uh, you know, you're watching us on Tiger TV, so we really do appreciate you doing that. And what it did set up was it set up a Gartley sell pattern that completed on uh, March the 27th. Now, uh, what you see is you've got the Euro trading out at 1.30426. It's already inside the uh, swing point. Uh, from March the 15th. Do you pay it? Uh, you know, we're just about to go to a commercial. Can you hang on, Jeff? Sure. Okay. Uh, when we get back, we're going to go see how these markets open. Then we're going back to Springfield, Missouri. And uh, to Jeff, uh, take a look at the uh, euro. We can also look at anything you'd like as well, folks. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you want once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. You've heard Tom O'Brien on the air, and you've always thought about trying out his newsletter, Market Insights. Well, now is the perfect time. For a limited time only, when you sign up for a two-week free trial to Market Insights, we'll send you a free copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. If you decide to cancel within the two-week trial period, pay absolutely nothing and keep Tom's book as a free gift from us. Tom sends out his daily newsletter each morning by 9.30 a.m. with trade recommendations including price targets and price stops. As recently as March 21st, Market Insight subscribers closed out a position for more than a 25% profit in just over two weeks. To get your two-week free trial to Market Insights, along with your free copy of The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Supplies are limited for this one-of-a-kind special, so act today and don't let this opportunity pass you by. Offer only valid for new subscribers. 
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now what type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off to the races. You got the uh, Dow down 46 points right now. S&P trading off uh, four Composite off uh, four. You got the uh, small caps down two per, uh, two points. Let's see. Leading the charge on the way down is the uh, Dow right now, down a third of a percent. Uh, Apple. What's Apple doing? Apple up uh, two bucks. Back to its normal stuff. Trading out at six twenty six. Let's go back to uh, Jeff in Springfield, Missouri. We're taking a look at the uh, futures contract on the euro. Jeff is short on the euro, and so and he's watching us on Tiger TV. You should too, folks, as well. So I've got the uh, futures contract up here on the screen here right now. That that's trading out at 130.58. And so what it is doing right now, Jeff, it is, you know, it's in the process of making an A, B equals C, D down pattern. And are you familiar with those patterns? Uh, not really. I mean, I've heard of them, but I'm not familiar. Okay, no problem. And so uh, when you're taking a look at, uh, so when I take a look at this uh, chart, if I pull this apart, one of the first things that I would be doing is taking a look at uh, this uh, this leg here from March 15th, where it made a low of 130.009, all the way up to the high that it made on March 27th, up at the 133.91 level. Now, just a normal retracement would be a 0.618 area of that move. 0.618 area, you've passed through that. You're now trading below the 0.786 area. That 0.786 area looks like that came in right around 130.091. What this is doing is this is making a 100% move of move. That means it's trying to get all the way down. You're inside the candle from March the 15th. That's a We call that a swing point. A swing point is where you see an absolute change in trend in the marketplace. And so as the euro was moving down on its A to B leg, uh, it was uh, moving down from a high of 1.3494 on this uh, contract all the way down to the low of 130.009. Then it goes ahead and it retraces back up. And as it does, so that swing point is what is trading inside right now. Uh, the high of that swing point, 1.3126. You don't want to see it close above that. Uh, and it may get all the way down to the 1.3009 area. Now, wouldn't be uh, out of, uh, wouldn't be uh, anything but normal for it to make a uh, uh, for it to make a, a move of a move and then do something a little bit more maybe start to do a retracement as opposed to continue all the way down if you take a look at even if i just go back to the most recent move of a move just to show this to you if you went back to february 16th see where my cursor is on uh, tiger tv 
You know, where yep. I've got this, okay? See how the low that was put down there was the 1.2987? See then how as the euro was moving down on this contract, it got there, made a move, a move, and then it bounced up? Oftentimes, that's really what happens when you make a move, a move, 100% move, a move. You're going to do something else. You might hang around. You might retrace back. You might just do a dead cat bounce and retrace back up there. And so on a short-term basis and, you know, coming into the end of the week, uh, then, uh, you know, you you know, you may be getting everything out of it that you want to right now. Where this is really headed to, though, it, this is headed to on the longer term, so it just depends on whether or not you want to hold this, you know, over the long weekend or whether you want to go ahead and, you know, take some money off the table and then come back in, you know, late Sunday night, early Monday morning, and then uh, pick up the uh, trade again. And on the, when they trade currencies, whether it's the futures on the currencies, that is really my preference. My preference is to not have to, because too many things can happen over the weekend around the world. You know, and it's absolutely, it's absolutely going to affect currency. And I would rather, my cost of insurance and trading currency would be to close out the trade on a Friday, in this case here Thursday, and then pick it back up Sunday evening. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're only talking about a small uh, difference. But if something happens over in Europe, Asia, wherever it is, you know, you're not, you're not feeling, you're not feeling the grief there. So where this is headed to, this is headed to, it's making an ABC down, it's going to, into the 129 uh, area. Uh, what you would also be taking a look at is a retracement of the larger move. And that's really what a Gartley pattern is. A Gartley pattern here, Jeff, is where you're coming off of the even larger swing point on this contract. You're going back to the January 13th low when it was out at 1.2645. So if I just simply take my retracement tool from the low there all the way up to the high that was put out on February 24th, a normal retracement is going to be at the 0.618 level. But see how this A to B equals C to D, a 100, a one, a one to one move would finish below the 0.618? That says to me that where your real price range on this is going to be in the 1.2906 into this 0.786 area, which is, looks like it's about 1.26. I'm going to have to change it from red to maybe black or something. 1.28. Uh, that 1.28 range. And that, what it would do, that would set up a Gartley buy pattern. Because a Gartley pattern, if you take a look at this leg, let's assume that you were in the camp, that you, 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 you were afraid that you missed out on this big move up on the euro, and you thought that that move was going to continue. What a Gartley pattern is, it's this A to B equals C, D pattern that I'm showing you, that is coming back into that original trend. That would be a, a Gartley buy pattern. And so, uh, you know, I think the full extent of this move is going to take you into that 128, 25 type range, okay? Okay. Does that help you? Yeah, that's great. Oh, perfect. Hey, thanks for calling. Look forward to hearing from you again. Have a, a great weekend and enjoy the golf out there. All right, thank you. Okay, you bet. 877-927-6648. Let's uh, continue taking. Let's go see what's popping, what's grooving, and what's moving out there. So on the moving side, you've got uh, Sherwin-Williams. Uh, they are trading up $3.77 SHW. They must be selling a lot of paint out there for all you home fixer-uppers. Uh, that is up uh, 4 bucks. trading up one thirteen ninety four. You've got PPG Industries. PPG is the ticker symbol on that. Let's see, what do they have here? Guidance or anything? Uh, says their Q1 adjusted earnings per share of a buck seventy-five to buck eighty. Uh, that's just a, a projection, I believe. Uh, so uh, that is up uh, three and a half percent. That's up three dollars and eighty-eight cents. You got Bed Bath and Beyond BBBY. They're up five and a half percent. Up three seventy-five. You've got Corrections CXW. Don't know what uh, that is. That's up a couple of bucks. You've got Liquidity Service, LQDT. They're up three bucks. Verifone, uh, ticker symbol on that is PAY. Schneitzer, Schneitzer Company. They're up, uh, holy Schneitzers, eh? They're up 3%. That's up a buck 11. Uh, you've got uh, Cinecorp up uh, 80 cents. Uh, PT Telecommunications there up a buck. TLK on that. Baidu is up. Uh, Valspar Corp, uh, Vivas, V V U S, they're up 88 cents. Uh, that is on the upside, dollar wise. Let's go see what is grooving to the downside. You've got I O C, Inter Oil Corp. They're trading down five bucks. That's down almost 10 percent. I don't see the news on that. We'll go take a look at that here in a bit. You got Google trading down five bucks. You've got. Uh, Parametric Tech, they're off five bucks. PMTC, Polycom, PLCM, they're off a few bucks. You got Buckle, 
BKE, uh, Shulman Inc., Constellation, STZ. Uh, they are a beverage company. I believe they're down two dollars and thirty cents. Solar Winds, SWI, Siemens, SI. They're off a buck sixty-five. Uh, that's uh, Carmax, KMX. They're off ninety-eight cents. Ruby Tuesdays, restaurant chain. They're uh, up, down a buck uh, thirteen. Uh, that's down twelve percent. Uh, Ruby Tuesdays. Apparently, you folks aren't eating out at Ruby Tuesdays. You're just eating out at that uh, Chipotle place. One of these days, I'm going to go in there. I know I don't even pronounce it properly, but I'm getting better at pronouncing that uh, at that uh, because I used to call it Chipotle. So uh, you got uh, let's see, Anheuser Busch, Bud, uh, not drinking enough beer. They're down one uh, percent. And Molson Tap, T A P, that ticker symbol. So the beers are having a tough time uh, this morning. Uh, let's go uh, take a uh, let's go take a look at uh, some of those stocks here that are trading down. So the first one that we'll call up on the screen. What do we want to look at first? We want a beer. Or do we want some food first? Let's go take a look at uh, Ruby Tuesdays. RT. Got to have. Got to eat a little food before you can actually have a beer. You can see how that is gapped down. Uh, this thing here was uh, indicating and was just simply showing that uh, this had some weakness going all the way back here to the July 21st time frame. Look on July 22nd. Gaps down with 4.8 million shares. Uh, what does the stock do? Uh, and the low of that gap. Uh, the, the low of that candle when it did get down July 22nd with 4.8 million shares was $9.35. Not that you would ever short a stock that is in the $10 range, but look what it does. It comes all the way back up into uh, March 30th, the end of the month with 1.9 million share, 1.1 million shares, gets to the top of that, closes below it, and gaps back down this morning. Where is this thing headed to? Uh, let's put this on a weekly chart, see what kind of uh, candles we might have out there or volume candles uh, that you've got. Uh, and we're taking a look at this. Looks like really all that it wants to do here right now. Here is an area of some uh, support. You can see that's what it's really trading into. So this wants to get right back down to this high volume candle going all the way back to July 2009. Price point out there is 675. You can also see how this has been just simply a resistance area uh, here. If you just simply take a look at my uh, cursor and the crosshair on that and you come across. So it's really headed back into the most recent swing point at 674, which is on December the 23rd, 2.5 million shares. Of course, uh, what you've did, done already so far uh, this week is over 3 million shares. So it's coming down with a vengeance, and it also has made a nasty bearish engulfing candle. If you take a look at the close for the weekend in March 30th, you closed out at nine dollars and thirteen cents you open up at nine dollars and sixteen cents so this week you're engulfing one two three at least three weeks that's fifteen trading sessions in one week that is on ruby tuesdays apparently not enough folks eating out at ruby tuesdays what do we go look at next let's go look at something that's popping out there uh, price line leading the charge up at 752 are they going to be the first one to a thousand dollars are they going to get up there before apple is uh, how about, uh, let's see, percentage-wise, uh, well, let's go Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, and see uh, what they are doing, BBBY. And you see Bed Bath & Beyond, they have uh, gapped up. They released some uh, earnings yesterday, uh, I believe. And uh, so you got Bed Bath & Beyond, they've gapped up. Let's go take, and you got some good volume in it this morning because we have only been trading for uh, 15 minutes, and so far today, you've got 1.5 million shares in there. You made its most recent high with 2.3 million shares out there. So it has taken out the B point of an A, B equals C, D up. That A point, folks, uh, just taking a look at the short one, and you, you know you had a nice sign of strength and conviction on March, March the 14th on Bed Bath & Beyond. We just simply go take a look at the A, B equals C, D pattern that's out here. That, folks, could uh, easily get uh, Bed Bath & Beyond up into the price point of 76 bucks. Let's go ahead and put this on a weekly chart. Let's see what we've got out here with Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, you've got another nice little rocket ship out here. Let me see if there is uh, any type of uh, or expansion, uh, retrace, or any type of expansion that's going on out here. Let's see, this thing has blown through it as well. So we talk about Apple, but you've got uh, one heck of a nice stock here. Let's look at the weekly ABC pattern. So the weekly ABC pattern on Bed Bath & Beyond, folks, that's going to start it out here at the uh, swing point going back to November 21st, 2008, when it was trading at a low of $16.23. Your B point is going to be right up here on April, May 2nd, I'm sure it is, right? May 2nd, yeah. 
no, April 30th, 2010. Uh, then it goes ahead and pulls back uh, for a few weeks, gets down into the 3573 range. Looks like that might be the uh, low swing point. So 3573 is where. It gets down to, let me get over to 3570, come on, help me out, 3573, and so right now, what it did last week, it completed a 1 to 1, A to B equals C to D, and uh, now what you are doing is trading above that, so it looks like this wants to at least make that 1.27 level, that would be 77 bucks, so it looks like the trading range on the weekly at 77 bucks, on the daily, I believe it was in the 80, let's just put that uh, back down here, on the daily chart, you're taking a look at 76 bucks. How about that? So on the, so on a smaller A to B equals C to D on a daily chart, you got a price projection of 76 bucks and the one to 1.272 on the weekly chart will take you to the same price area, 77 bucks. That is on bed, bath and beyond. Uh, right now you got the Dow off 28 points, S&P's off 1.75. If you take just a, a quick peek over here at that ES Mini, take a look at that uh, hammer candle here in a Type 1 hammer candle. That's why you want to you want to know those patterns. You want especially want to take a look at them, folks. When you are making a D point, it's all about the D point. It is all about understanding that C to D lag. And when you are coming to that completion, you want to either see a bearish or bullish candle signal. Bearish candle signal when you're completing a D point to the upside and a uh, bearish, uh, a, a bullish symbol when you're making your D point to the uh, downside here. Uh, let's continue taking a look. Well, let's go look at the King Dollar out here. You know, there's never enough time in these shows. Uh, and we're taking a look at King Dollar. Now, what King Dollar did came off of the... Uh, off of the uh, lows with a huge bearish and golf, uh, bearish, bullish engulfing candle two trading sessions ago on April the 30th. That uh, bullish engulfing candle engulfed one, two, three, four, five, six candles, I believe it was, real strong. You know, when you just simply engulf one candle, that's one thing. When you engulf multiple candles, folks, it is absolutely, it is, it is just simply a leading indicator of a market participants communicating to you. That's all that this is. This is nothing more than a language. You don't have to overthink it. Uh, it gives you an idea of where you need to have your new support and or resistance areas here and certainly you take a look at uh, this candle and then understand retracement levels when you take a look at the retracement off of this march 15th to the low that was put in here you hit the 0.618 80.26 people get off the elevator as if they're coming to visit us here at tfnn at suite 618 which we would absolutely love you to do folks 877-927-6648 dow off 33 points we'll be right back always taken the long view when it comes to investing. But what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. 
David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Hi, folks. Turns out my best student became my best teacher. Steve Rhodes absolutely raised my standards, and I'll guarantee he'll raise yours. Thanks, Tom. What I've learned is that if you want more, you must become more, and that transformation, folks, that occurs the moment you decide to become a master. Now, the quickest way to mastery is through immersion, and for two solid days in Denver, Boston, and Tampa, I'll create a new standard of wealth for those few trader investors who have a burning desire to succeed. At my Master Trader course, I'll teach you how to create the ultimate money machine. These are the best-kept secrets in the business. Roadblocks, folks. Dabblers give up when they first appear. Stressors last just a little bit longer, but masters expect roadblocks and achieve extraordinary results when they bust right through them. I have all the benefit of knowing the type of wealth creation that I can generate for you. You don't. That's why I'm making this unconditional money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not satisfied with my Master Trader course, I'll refund every penny. That's right. I take all the risk, and you get all the benefit. Go to the homepage at TFN.com and sign up today. Catch Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. The Money Masters, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. You get the uh, Dow trading off 26. Let's go to uh, Lou in New Hampshire. Lou, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself today? Hanging in there. You wanted to uh, look at Lionsgate Entertainment. That's right. Great. Tell me, uh, tell me what you're doing out there while I pull this up and well, how I can help well, you. I'm just looking at it and uh, looking for an entry point somewhere. Okay, so you got LGF is the uh, ticker symbol, folks, so you can follow along. And uh, let me see here. Let's uh, pull this up. Make sure I've got the right thing. So trade out at 1302, right? That's what we're looking at. Right. Okay. And so uh, this right now, well, look at the uh, the volume in this. So kind of interesting. What what? Do, any idea what uh, this thing has basically had? You know, if you take a look at the volume along the bottom here, let me just even pull this thing back here. You know, it's had in essence no real volume uh, that you can you know that you can uh, think of here uh, or that you visually see going back you know quite a ways. Uh, early 2010. What is it? What, did, they, did they release some kind of movie or something? Uh, yeah, Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Okay. You see, I'm just not in the movie side of the uh, business. Did you get a chance to see it? No, not yet. No, okay. Um, you know, I know that thing. Uh, so now that's going to be, that is now going to be a franchise, right? Because that thing has one of the record-breaking uh, weekend uh, gates or something like that, right? That's right. Yeah, I'm okay. All my kids saw it, so. I'm sorry? All my kids and a lot of my relatives saw it. Okay, did they like it? I read the book. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, this, it's about killing or something like that? or. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And then, geez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't sound like my kind of movie. But so you're taking a look at it, and I can understand why you why you are now. What you're doing here is you certainly are coming into the breakout. And and folks, when we're taking a look at a breakout. What you're looking at, you're looking at a wide price spread and accelerated volume. So Lionsgate certainly has that. And if you take a look at where it started to break out, that's I'm sure why Lou is taking a look at it, and he's looking at that March 16th area where you 
had a low of 13.13 and a high of 13.35. He did 2.3 million shares. Now, as you've come back into that, now, where it really broke out was really, folks, on the following trading session. You can see how you have accelerated uh, volume on the way up here. Now, what you want to be careful of here is, uh, let me just make sure that I take a look at this. Uh, the low, what you want to look at, Lou, is that, is that candle on March 21st. Because that can't, because this, this stock chart is giving you conflicting signals. That candle on March 21st, the low of it, see how it's 1546? Yep. And on the next trading session, the high is 1543, so you got a three penny difference. Mm -hmm. And then the session before that, where it gapped up, you had a high of uh, $15.30. Mm -hmm. This is an island reversal pattern. They're hard to do, they're hard to find. Uh, out there. And when you do find them, it actually has a real bearish uh, tone to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so, there's, so there's a signal out here. Yes, you did break out. You're coming back into this breakout area. Now, when you come back into that March 16th candle with 2.3 million shares, uh, you came back into it on April 3rd with 6 million shares. So even though you're really taking a look at that breakout area, well, that breakout candle happened to be 6.9 million shares on March the 19th. So you know you're coming in. You're coming into this area here with too much volume. Do you, you see that? I see that. Yeah. You know. So so now you had up at the top there where you got that island reversal. And you know if we just take a look at just an ABC pattern that it made off of that island reversal, just the simple one, all the way down to the low here on March 23rd. Uh, you know, it's already past the one point uh, one to one move here. And I'm sorry, we're going to go out there. Lou, send me an email. And, you know, I'll just do a couple other things on this chart, and I'll send that to you, okay? Okay. All right, that'd be great. Steve at TFNN.com, all right? And ha have, a great, uh, have a great weekend, but uh, looks like there's a little bit of problem here with Lionsgate. Maybe they're not as hungry as they thought they were. Folks, stay tuned. Have a great weekend. Live with an attitude of gratitude. I'll see you Monday morning.